Sit With Me, founded by the National Center for Women and Informational Technology, is an organization that works to increase meaningful female presence in STEAM. Husky Robotics interviewed a variety of current members and alumni to share their personal experiences as a female in robotics. Hi, my name is Cindy Kama. Hi, my name is Anaya Kota. My name is Olivia Meyer. Safia Bonfrey. Hi, my name is Ariana Kumar. Jennifer Lewis. Hi, my name is Lavina. Hi, my name is Maria Patney. I am an alumni of Husky Robotics, Team 3061. I'm an alumni of Team 3061, Husky Robotics. I'm a senior alum. I'm in Husky Robotics 3061. I'm in ninth grade. I'm a senior in Husky Robotics, Team 3061. And I'm a ninth grader. I'm a part of Husky Robotics, Team 3061. And I've been doing robotics and been involved with FIRST for seven years. So I first got involved in STEAM when I joined FLL and I believe it was fourth grade. Uh, and I was in a neighborhood where we were all pretty involved in FIRST already. So they introduced me to uh, STEAM and through that I just fell in love with it and have been involved for the past eight years. I was introduced to FLL by this really great mentor in STEM. She's a family friend of mine and she started an FLL team and she right away wanted to make sure to get as many girls involved as possible and reached out to my family and a couple of others and that's how I was introduced to FIRST. So I'm looking forward to learning more about STEAM since I don't really know much at the moment and I hope to inspire other girls to be more involved in STEAM. I am most looking forward to learning more about robots in general because I haven't had too much hands-on experience with that and also being able to learn from my women leaders on my team. When I began with Husky Robotics, I wasn't very sure of myself and the ideas that I had in my own mind. But um, as soon as I started, I realized that the people in my team were very including and they listened to everything I had to say and that made me feel more confident. It starts with the coaches. The coaches make Team 3061 feel so, so welcoming to anyone that joins, regardless of whether they have experience or not when they join. And I think that's so, so meaningful. And it, it travels down, it trickles down from the coaches to the students and they slowly grow into leaders that empower each other to welcome new people, to actually incorporate diversity into our growth mindset, to help us come up with new and unique ideas as we try to figure out new and unique ways to address problems. Um, Husky Robotics is a really unique environment because um, it has a very balanced, or from my perspective, I feel like there's more of a balanced ratio of um, girls to guys than, other, than most STEM workplaces. So, for example, coming in my freshman year, I had um, older kind of sister figures that would help me, like, would help intro me to the team. And I never felt alone because there was always other girls in, on my team that would help make me feel more included. The Red Chair Movement is a symbol of a growing opportunity for females where females can have a seat at the table of STEM. Uh, STEM is a predominantly male field uh, and it's pretty difficult for females to have their say or be able to get involved in the field uh, easily. Uh, so the red chair movement is a great symbol of bringing a pathway for females to be able to achieve their dreams and get involved. It's all about the celebration of women in STEAM. Listening to other women share their stories and hearing their experiences in the field um, and also their success is energizing. And the movement also demonstrates to myself and other women that uh, we have a community of people there willing to celebrate and support us through our careers. We sit down. We sit down. We sit down to stand up. To stand up. To stand up. We sit down to stand up.